Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Today I wanted to share a really quick 6x8 layout with you using the brand new Studio Calico Color Theory washi tapes and labels. They recently released um, kind of a multi-pack of these washi tapes and labels. You can buy them in like single colors, like in a bulk pack of one color, or you can get kind of the multi-pack. So what I have is the multi-pack here and it comes with 12 different colors of washi tape and 12 different colors of label stickers. So I decided to kind of put them all to use. I'm using um, I think like seven different colors of the washi tape here in a rainbow pattern and then I'm going to be using um, different colored labels to kind of stick on here as an embellishment. So I just wanted to kind of dig in and and, um, use these kind of all on the same project so I could really kind of get a sense of um, just how I can use them on other projects in the future. I wanted to see if I could stamp on the labels and kind of get to know the width of these washi tapes. So this was just a really fun way to kind of bring all of them in on one project. So I went ahead and just adhered down seven of these different colored washi tapes and now I'm just kind of pulling them up. I wanted them to each be a different length and to have kind of an imperfect edge. So that's why I'm um, kind of tearing them off instead of cutting them. I just wanted that to just add a little bit more texture and give it that imperfect edge. Then I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I'm going to place my photo and then I will punch my holes into my cardstock um, since I'll be putting this in my 6x8 album right after I finish this. I didn't want to heavily embellish this page. I really wanted the washi tape and the labels to be the center of attention, but I am going to go through my die cuts and just select a couple. I found a couple of old Studio Calico ones, so there's that little label there. Um, and then I'm going to pull in this tree and I thought those two green ones just worked really well with this photo. By the way, this is an old photo. This is um, about five years old now. Um, this is from my, my husband's engagement photo shoot and um, I think I printed this out for a different project and ended up not using it. So I have like a whole box of photos that I am now getting around to scrapbooking just in, you know, not chronological order, but I'm just kind of pulling them out and um, putting them on scrapbook pages as I kind of have time. So this is one of those layouts that I'm pulling together. And now I'm going to start stamping on my labels. And I just want to mention that um, stamping works really well on these labels. The ink goes down. It doesn't move around. Um, I know some labels are kind of slick and hard to stamp on. These are not like that at all. These are going to be perfect to kind of add dates to or stamp um, images on, kind of whatever you want to ink up and stamp down. It's going to go on there and it's not going to move around. You get a nice clear image. So those are perfect for that. And it's kind of a very lightweight paper feel. So it's not like a, a thick sticker. It's just a very um, lightweight sort of paper feel. So I'm going to go in with, I think I started with inky black, but I ended up using my cement color theory ink to stamp out all of these heart speech bubbles. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to kind of put them down on the color washi tape that they match um, so I can get sort of a nice rainbow effect. So I'm going to go around and do that on my whole page. Um, I'm going to play some music and then I will come back and finish off this page with you guys. So the order that I ended up placing these stickers in, it kind of 
gives it like a mountain or sort of bridge look to it, which is kind of funny because that's sort of the pose that we were doing in this photo. Um, that was kind of just a happy accident. I didn't mean for that to happen. It's just kind of how I placed the stickers, but I feel like that worked out really well. Um, kind of a funny story behind this photo, our photographer had this idea for us to stand on these pillars and it doesn't look like these pillars are very high, but I'm telling you guys, climbing up onto one of those things in a sort of semi-short dress was definitely a challenge and um, definitely a moment that I will remember um, from this photo shoot for a very long time. But I'm really happy that we kind of got this image and it was kind of sweet and um, kind of funny and plays to our personalities pretty well. So I'm just going to finish up stamping on these labels. I stamped out thankful and yes, this moment and adventure. And um, now I'm going to go in with some of my puffy stickers. Um, these are from Felicity Jane and I'm just kind of putting these in the center of those hearts that were in the speech bubble just to give it a little bit of a raised effect. And then I'm pulling in some of these rainbow um, enamel dots and I'm just going to kind of place those around the labels just to bring in more of that rainbow effect and that is going to complete this page I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, if you have sort of any rainbow um, washi tapes or really any washi tapes this could be a fun background to kind of play around with so I hope you give it a try and um, yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys again very soon bye